Breaking right now, a sentencing has come down for an Isleworth millionaire. Bob Ward was convicted in February for the second time for his wife's murder after his original conviction was tossed out. News 6 reporter Nadine Yanis is live outside the courthouse. And Nadine, what did the judge decide? Yeah, with this decision coming down about 30 minutes ago, Julie, Judge Letitia Marks giving Bob Ward the maximum sentence of 30 years and also court restitution costs of $50 per day that he's in jail. That totals more than $547,000. Based on the totality of circumstances on this case and the facts and the evidence that I heard at trial, court hereby sentences you to 30 years in the Department of Corrections with Today's sentencing ends a story which began in 2009 after his wife Diane Ward was found dead inside their Isleworth mansion. In 2011, Bob Ward was found guilty for her murder but appealed, claiming his original attorney had dropped the ball. So he got a new trial, which ended again in February of this year with a guilty verdict, this time for a lesser charge of manslaughter, but that still came with the maximum punishment of 30 years. Bob Ward himself today begged for the sentence to only be time served for the six years he's already been behind bars. He says he has medical issues and him being behind bars would be a death sentence. You know, they get it right sometimes, they get it wrong sometimes, but uh, they got it wrong this time. And um, Jesus Christ will stand right there. I would swear to him they got it wrong this time. He knows that. But uh, please, please have mercy on me. I'd, want to go back to my family, please. And so Ward, again, was just sentenced the maximum punishment for his manslaughter charge of 30 years in jail. We just spoke to his attorney walking out of the courtroom steps within the last 15 minutes. He says, obviously disappointing in the sentencing. And it looks like Bob Ward is going to appeal. But this time when the judge asked if he had money for an attorney, he says he only has about $1,000 to his name and he was appointed a public defender.